Hi folks, it's the Mad Inventor again. I managed to get out in the garden and escape my workshop. Right, it's British summertime, we're in June. So now all the gardeners, they get out in the garden, planting their fruit, veg, what have you. Anyway, I like to do a bit of planting myself. But unfortunately, being an inventor, I found a problem. This is an invisible problem. And I'm gonna show you just what I'm on about. First of all, it's this. Us gardeners, we like to water our fruit, strawberries, vegetables, what have you, with rainwater. When it rains, we collect the water from our guttering to our faithful water butt. So when it rains, we don't have to go out and water our plants. But when it doesn't rain, we've got the sunlight today, turn to our water butt. But we got an invisible problem, and I'll show you. Follow me. Right, here's your guttering on your house or your shed or your garden shed on your allotment. I don't, it doesn't matter where. Here's our invisible roof. Right, the thing is that what ends up in our water bath is what comes stuck on the guttering. Now, birds could be nesting. We can get the odd leaves, twigs, the odd worm, drop their piece of bread, a few other bits, maybe the odd snail, pieces of bread, bird poop, which I've got none of that. But at the end of the day, when it rains, where does this all go? It goes straight down your water bucket. And what happens is, over time, over the year, two years, it increases in the debris. And it compresses with 200 litres in there. It's near enough 200 kilos of pressure. It smells. Can you water? Would you make a glass of orange squash from the water out of your water bucket? No, you wouldn't. For the simple fact, you know there's something in there. So anyway, after a year or two years, this invisible problem only comes visible when one day you turn the tap and no water comes out. What do you do then? You take your top off, you put your watering can in to try and get the water out. It's a big problem. Right, as you can see, we've got a lot of debris there. And that will carry on rotting. Yeah. Here's a question for you. How often do you empty your water bath? Once a year? Once every two years? I'll give you the answer. You only clean it out when the problem comes to light. Right. Put some more twigs back in. More bird poop, whatever. Now we'll put the snail. You'd be surprised what washes down the gutter. So what is the solution? Here it is. It's the WBB, the water butt buddy. Fits in seconds. Put it on. Our little buddy here will catch our leaves, our snails. Here comes Mr. Snail going down. Twigs, worms, pieces of bread, whatever, but bird poop. Look at it's clear. That's our water butt. Looks a lot better than it did with what we just emptied out. As you can see, this is just be compressed water. There's no debris, no twigs, leaves, what have you. When you're done with this thing, if you can see all the bits inside. There we go. Easy to wash with a hose. Check this every every four months, six months. The good thing about this is it fits any standard guttering. There you go. Ready to go again. We've catched all the debris. We're stopping all the little critters that grow. Are you really doing yourselves any favours watering your strawberries? 
carrots, vegetables, potatoes, flowers, with water that's got debris in the bottom that's been growing there for two years. Now I'll show you what it's like on the water butt and I'll show you my invisible problem I found. Follow me. Right, here's my water butt. I'll be honest with you, I haven't cleaned this for about two years. And I'm going to show you the invisible problem that I spotted. The best bet is if I take the water butt apart, I'm going to show you now what's in the bottom. Right. Can you see that in the bottom? That's our debris of two years. And you can see it's not far from the tap. And that's been rotten for the last two years. So I've been watering my plants with dirty manky water. Right, let's clean it out. Right, my friends, cleaned my water butt. So give you an idea. I didn't want to film it. It was one dirty sight, smelly horrible. When you order one of these, give this water butt a chance, clean it right out, and then you email me and go, yep, yeah, that was smelly, dirty, rotten, leaves, you name it. The other good thing about the water butt buddy, if like me, you've got a felt roof, the birds like to peck, like to have a wash on the top, and they peck the grit off. The water butt buddy will catch the grit. So again, it doesn't end up in your water butt. Right, remember I told you the problem. When the invisible problem occurs, and you turn your tap of your water butt, and no water comes out, you get your watering can on the top. This is a small watering can. It's going to be a lot more awkward, because the further it goes down, the higher it's going to be. You end up splashing it all over here. It's not worth it. Right. I wanted to design the water butt buddy mainly for the seniors as well. You're not going to pay to have someone clean your gutter in every couple of years. No, it's going to cost too much. And are you going to climb up 20, 30 foot and do it yourself? No. Because as you hose it down, you're hosing all the debris down as well. So there we go. No tools. No tools required to fit this. Fix in seconds. On. Up. There you go. Seconds. This will catch leaves, grit, twigs. You name it, what birds leave in your guttering, this will catch it. Try and inspect it every four months. At the end of the day, you're not going to get the debris in the bottom. And you're going to be watering your plants with good fresh water instead of that congealed stuff that's been there for two odd years. There's another problem solved by the man inventor. Till next time, my friends. Bye-bye.